y'all. A P T T P her. And today we have a hashtag same six Wednesday. It's the August event. August event. And we are so happy. Look at this wonderful staff, y'all. Holy cow, can you believe it? Isn't that just fun? Oh, I'm so excited! Can't wait to see and play and do. Y'all, this is a, 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 one of the funnest collaborations I think I've ever been in. Not the, well, I, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, part of lady. So, uh, that's our uh, journal page that we're going to work on. And, uh, I love this braille paper. I've never had that before. And I'm actually kind of excited that I have a little left over. Just, just between you and me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, this is for August. And our stuff was provided by Lisa of Lisa My Eclectic Life. Uh, you should be able to find a link in the description box below. Oh, there's a bunch of other people. There's like six of us all together, okay? So you will find everybody's links in the description box below. So be sure to uh, check them out. Uh, subscribe to them if you are not already subscribed. Give them a thumbs up. And uh, also kind comment, y'all. Just saying. Now this is... a. Uh, a collaboration between six in total different artists and we were to send each other six items of which we have to use at least three a minimum of three my goal if you haven't heard already <laughs> is to use all six we're in august mm -hmm. so that means we've done two already and i succeeded did two and uh yeah <laughs> so Let's see, um, so far we have done, let's, let, I'm looking at my list, so far we've done Jean Peter Artist, Barbara Clark, and now we're on Lisa My Eclectic Live. Next month for September's event will be moi, and I'm so excited to see what everybody does with the stuff, the junk, the treasure. I sent them, y'all. Then we'll be followed by uh, Tanya in October, and Maria's, uh, that's Tanya McGuire, sorry, and Maria's Miscellany in November, and I will do, I don't know if anyone else is going to do that, uh, the plan, I should say, a plan on doing a, uh, a how I put my journal together in December for y'all and that will include a flip and I'm using golden matte medium here and I'm going to glue that it's a very thin it's very nice gold paper y'all I don't know if it's real gold but it's gold and glue did that together with uh, golden matte medium and I'm going to put this uh, vintage ephemera on there. I think it's real vintage, y'all. I don't, just not no store-bought stuff. And I put my brush in my mouth, you know, because I didn't want to stick it in my water bucket over there because I wanted to use that extra uh, matte medium on there to put on top of this. Now, you need to watch out with matte medium and stuff like that when you're doing on uh, shimmery cards because it will dull it down, if not totally take the shimmer away. Just a word of caution. Now, another word of caution is... I take for granted that everybody's images print like mine, and I've got uh, an Epson work source, blah, 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 and my ink does not smear at all. Not at all, y'all. Okay? So, um, word of caution. Test your inks, because some of this kind of smear it just a little bit. Of course, on the vintage stuff... I'm not at all surprised because, you know, back then, now, this stuff looked like it was, you know, uh, that card said it was from 37. I don't know when the recipe uh, paper was written. But, you know, back back in the day, in the early 1900s, y'all, sounds so weird to say that, uh, in the early 1900s, when people wrote with ink pens, they were fountain pens, Okay. Mm -hmm. They weren't any ball rollers or anything like that. So, 
they typically were not waterproof, wet proof, or any other kind of proof. Pencils, now the graphite pencils they used back then were much better than ones we tend to use or are able to buy these days, unless you buy good drawing artist pencils. So, I'm going to use a craft knife and cut out these wonderful, beautimous, I mean beautimous mushrooms, y'all. Be careful with the craft knife. They're sharp. As you saw, I broke off the little blade so I could get a brand new sharp one. So I want to make sure I got sharp and then we'll tear this pretty stuff. Okay, now I didn't really have much bleedage from this. If I'd have kept rubbing it, it'd have got worse. But no. That brayer paper. We're going to tint that just a little bit. Now that there paint I, it was already the sludges that are left down in the bottom of the bottle that can be hard to get out. I turned it into a wash by adding just a bit of water and I always add a bit of uh, matte medium in there as well just because you sometimes lose the integrity of your uh, acrylic paints when you water it down overly much. Just saying. This is something I do. You don't have to do it at all. So it's already a wash, all right? And then uh, we put on a little thin coat and uh, we dried it. And then we're going to put on a secondary coat because I want just a little bit more off to it, all right? Now the white part over there on on the uh, the left part of your screen, that's my spine. That's going to be my binding area, so to speak, more or less. We'll figure that out when we get there. Now I'm going to use a Tim Holtz paper doll. Did not come as part of my six items, okay? But I'm going to use it because I, I liked him. I tried him on and I'm like, yes. Now this is where we get some ink smears, but that's just how it goes. Like I said, back in the day, okay, they used fountain pens, okay? Very soluble water ink stuff. So, and I did not give it a thought, y'all. Didn't even give it a thought. I'm just like, okay, well, we'll just continue on because it's done. <laughs> I can't undone it. So we're just going to put a little bit on. And I tried not to brush overly much. And then I thought, why am I even bothering with the backside of this card? Because my plan is you're not even really going to see much of the backside. You will see some, just not much. Okay? So happy. I got all six things used. Oh! <sighs> Y'all, this is just some fun stuff. So we're just going to round our corners. That is going to become a journaling spot on the back, more or less, sort of. I thought, well, let's put these mushrooms. Are they going to fit? Yes, they'll fit. Side wonkers. Side wonkers. So we're going to cut them out. As you all have noticed, there's been a lot of cutting out. And I think this is a fairly fastest video. I'm pretty sure, y'all, it's under 30 minutes. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. So, um... So yeah, there's a lot of redundancy. You can uh, speed up, more speed up, because I've sped up portions of this video for your viewing pleasure and not voicing over convenience, as we've discussed many, many ad nauseum many times. So, love these mushrooms and was very excited when I opened my envelope and I had mushrooms. And that's probably what I said. I'm like, I'll have mushrooms. <laughs> and we're going to do some fancy cutting here and, and cut out these little chunks on the inside. Because that's what I chose to do. That's why. All right. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see what everybody does with their stuff. Oh, I don't know if we're all doing journal pages or tags or whatnot. Well, I should know by this time because surely, surely they've said, I don't know. Remember, there's too many of us to remember about all that. It's exciting. Look at that gold, y'all. So I'm like, I don't want to put matte medium on there because I know what'll happen. It'll dull that gold, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to use this here art glitter glue and hope for the best. It worked. It turned out bootimous. Y'all, <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then the end result, it's like, wow. How lucky did I get? Man, I love these treasures. So anyway, I like the uh, um, vintage ephemera, and I have a hard time covering stuff up, y'all. So just just between you and me, because yeah, I'm like I want to be able to see everything, and I do have I did keep those little bits. I don't know why I kept those little bits, y'all, but I did.
All my little leftovers from my little envelopes, uh, I've kept in the envelope. I do not have a plan for them, and I don't know. But I kept them, because cause I kept them. I can do that right now. One day I might not could do that, but right now I can, so I am. So uh, when you're trimming around something that you have adhered extra paper on, in this case on the back, you it's it's kind of a little more harder, and you definitely want to make sure it's dry because it's it's just going to tear and rip and do all kinds of weirdness if it's not dry yet, y'all. So make sure things dry. Did we have heat gun yet? I don't know if we had heat gun. I don't even know if we get heat gun in this one. Holy cows! I don't know. It's, it's been like hours since I did it. <laughs> I think it was yesterday, y'all. So yeah, and. Um, some of my paper's a little ragged. Some of it's, uh, you know, well, ragged and rough would be the same thing, I, I reckon. And I'm going to go around with this uh, Higgins Black Magic Pen thing, y'all. I like it for going around stuff because the, the pen is really a brush thingy. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. So it's kind of flexible and it can get into tiny tight places like in those little crevices that I cut out. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Sometimes around here, the dust and everything's all t all time blooming. We always got something pollinating, y'all, down here in the south. Always got something. So anyway, I'm going around with the black because it's way easier to go around with the black magic, black magic, black magic Higgins brush pen. I'm not necessarily promoting. I'm just telling you what it is. I like it. I bought it with myself. It's, okay. Anyway, than it is with an ink pad or a blending tool or anything else. Just, just saying for me. So here we are back at our mushrooms, and our background, uh, initial page background is all nice and dry. And I'm going over the whole thing with the, with the matte mediums, y'all, because we want to seal it up, and we're going to put our mushrooms on there. Now remember, this this is braille paper, so it's bumpy, and it's supposed to be bumpy. And I was quite impressed with how it stayed bumpy. I, I would try to be real careful with it, because I'm like, oh, my bumps, please don't go away, my little bumps. The words, y'all, I, I don't know what they are. I put it sideways. Um, I do good reading the newspaper. I don't read newspapers, y'all. Who am I kidding? Well, I read the coffee news, and that's kind of a newspaper. Anyways, so I took my finger and just smashing it down, and then that's where I start seeing some of the color kind of, kind of chair, barely move. But I was rubbing it pretty hard, and matte medium is known to kind of dislodge color. So any hoots, uh, now we're going to ink. I, I printed out a little quote by Mary Shelley. You know, she was a writer. She writed um, Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster, Mary Shelley. Yeah, one of them. Anyways, I can't tell you right off the top of my head what the quote is, but I, you know, after I'm working on this page, I'm like, oh, that's a perfect quote right there. Mm hmm Going to use that. So I got the Distress Oxides because they matched it uh, more better, the uh, the colors on here, than my Archival Ink, which y'all know I tend to use the Archival because I like it because it doesn't move, whereas Distress Oxides will move. I know, I'm rambling because I can't end my video. So we're inking around, and it's probably vintage photo, y'all. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. Description box, y'all. Holy cow. All the ingredients that I've used, including uh, the link to um, Lisa's channel, is, is in the description box. And a link to everybody else's videos for this particular event month, which is August. It's still August, y'all. And we're just re-inking our black ink pad with the archival black because I told you I like that. So we're going to ink around. We double inked, okay? I don't know if you can tell in your video screen, but you can sure tell in real life. I can tell in real life. We know that's what counts. So we're going to ink around everything. Well, more, mostly more or less. I didn't ink around the mushrooms, so did I. No, I didn't. And I pinned around the man, so I guess that's not really considered inking around either. Well, no, it's black. Well, I don't know. Carrying on. <laughs> Let's change the subject, okay? Okay. So I'm like, I know where I want to put my border, and we're cutting it off, and that's close enough to the size I need. Pretty sure about that. Well, let's just go ahead and ink around this puppy tee. Y'all, that's some pretty paper. And I think I used to have that border punch, but I think I broke it. Broke it. It broke it. 
but I'm not sure. Because I still have a corner rounder that matched it. And I didn't get it out because, you know, when I get to going, y'all, it's hard for me to stop. And this paste just zip, 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 zipping along. So, here we go. He can, y'all. Oh, just for a few seconds there. He can. Okay, this, this video is barely over 20 minutes. Barely over 20 minutes. It's almost 21. So, yeah. So, we inked around that and we're inking around the page. I inked around my other two pages. Might as well ink around this one. And we're going to adhere this on the side. Mm -hmm. It's a tuck spot, or you know, theoretically, you could call it a pocket, I reckon, but it's on the side. So, there you're going to see some. Oh, you already probably are, probably already saw the thumbnail. So, there you go. <laughs> like I said, that white part on the left, that's, that's going to be for binding purposes. It's, I'm like, well, I need to smash this down because we're still fighting those. You know, that texture can sometimes be kind of an issue, y'all. Kind of, sometimes. So, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yes. And then our card is going to tuck in there. And our man is going to hang out on the card, y'all. Look at this. Got to get, gotta get him just right where I want him. Got to get my card right where I want it. It's like, mm, uh, piddling. And we're getting there. You can see, you see, you can see that paper on the back. I used all six things, y'all. Be my third month of doing so. I'm so excited. Just excited. I love this stuff so fun you get to uh, it's a challenge don't get me wrong it it it's a challenge y'all you can see my my mushrooms are gonna be side wonkers anyway but it is just fun and it's so exciting when you make something you're like wow i can't believe that i thunk to do it like that y'all how blessed am i so i'm just wiping away some of the excess glue uh, now you know, a smarter person would have sprayed everything with, you know, uh, a fixative of some sort just, just to ensure that they'd be okay. But, you know, I'm not as smart as some. Ta -da. That's where it's going to sit, y'all. Now we're going to put our quote on. And hopefully, if uh, we'll be able to read it at the photo montage, because there will be a photo montage. Y'all know I love photo montages. Just saying. In case you weren't aware of that maybe you should be maybe you should watch all the videos i've done thus far on this here same six wednesday y'all which is <coughs> excuse me which uh we are putting our videos up on the third wednesday of each month for next well for the rest of the year for me as far as you know Okay, okay. So now I'm kind of trying to smoosh that down again. I've got the bumps to can contend with. And I'm like, yes. And y'all notice I didn't really, I didn't do any stamping. I almost put some background stamp on and I thought, no. My braille paper is going to stand on its own. Now we're going to outline these mushrooms using Stabilo All. And I think I forgot to put that in the description box. Okay. Anyways. In the description box, click on the word on the phrase "show more" to see more information, including the ingredients I used, the links to everybody else's videos for the August event. Mm -hmm. Hashtag same six Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Six. I said six, not sex. I know what it sounds like. I am Southern. Six. So, <laughs> there we have it. We're just going to use our water brush and go around ad nauseum because I'm like, I want some shadow on there. I don't know why. Sometimes I can't explain why I would do stuff because I wanted to. And that's, that's pretty much how I say it because I wanted to. And trying to bleed out the ads, you know, chase that edge so that it's just not like a halo, but sometimes I like halos. I do. Sometimes I like halos. I'm like, yes. Well, you know, there's not a whole lot you have to do to this. It just, this page just built itself. So there we go. 
underlining the words. It just went on the bottom side. Didn't even go all the way around them. Ta-da! And here is our little journaling spot, more or less. And I'm like, I don't know why I put him in there that way, but I wanted him in there that way. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, he doesn't go that way, bless my heart. Goes this way. So see, he's got the mushrooms behind him. He's stepping on the ground. He's stepping up on the card. What does our quote say? I do not wish women to have power over men. I, okay. But over themselves. And that's a quote by Mary Shelley, the writer. Oh, photo montage! Who let me forget to say that? Oh my gosh, people! I appreciate each and every one of you. Your likes, your kind comments, your subscriptions, your shares. If you've not already done so, please take a moment to subscribe and don't forget everybody else's links in the description box below. Thanks for watching and Happy Arden, y'all!